It is summer time in India when the ambient temperatures are very high and as a result your CPU temperatures are severely affected. Now when playing today's generation games or performing other CPU intensive tasks, you might be concerned about the high temperature your CPU is experiencing. This is understandable given that if you don't lower those temperatures, your processor could suffer damage. So in today's video, I will show you the affordable yet most effective CPU cooler from the well-known brand Deepcool that will solve your CPU heating issue. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will be doing an unboxing, installation and review of Deepcool Gamex 200 air cooler. Friends, please watch the entire video to make sure you understand everything about it. Usually, the market has a large selection of CPU coolers, but given the features it provides, this one is simply the best affordable option I found. Of course, you will comprehend this by the end of this video. Let's see what's written over the box. There is a price label, some specifications, and yes, it's made in China, month and year of import, model number. Also, there is one sticker that states that it supports the latest LGA1700 socket. Let's open the box and remove the CPU cooler out. There is one manual, warranty card, some papers, but who has time to read it? The CPU cooler has a fantastic appearance and the quality is good for the price. This CPU cooler is equipped with multiple clips to support Intel and AMD platforms as it is compatible with all the sockets of both Intel and AMD. Two high quality metal heat pipes directly touch the CPU surface and conduct heat from the processor quickly to protect from overheating. It has a large 9cm fan with PWM function that offers a perfect balance between airflow and noise. For those who don't know what the PWM function is, the PWM stands for Pulse Width Modulation and is a way of controlling the speed of a fan in a computer cooler. You understand? Yes. No, you understand. PWM fans have an extra fourth wire that sends a PWM signal to the motor which is switched on and off very rapidly according to the temperature readings from the motherboard. So unlike the 3 pin configuration coolers which don't have an control over the fan speed, this deep cool CPU cooler comes with 4 pin connector so the fan speed will be automatically controlled by the motherboard. With the help of hydro bearing it has, the fan can achieve maximum speed of 2000 rpm which is blazing fast. The CPU cooler can be installed without removing the motherboard from the cabinet. But you may want to remove the graphics card for ease of installation of this CPU cooler as its size is big due to the big surface area of the heatsink. Also the size of cooler is very well optimized that it fits properly even in the smaller cabinets. It comes with a pre-applied thermal paste which is a positive. It has no RGB fan which is not really a concern given the ultra low price point it comes at. So before installing it in our PC, let me show the stock Intel cooler and the temperature statistics on the stock cooler. Guys PC specs are i7 3rd gen processor, 16 GB of RAM and GTX 1650 for smooth gaming. Here with the stock cooler, the ideal temperature itself is around 52 degrees Celsius and while doing the CPU stress, the temperature is shooting above 90 degree which is very very dangerous for our CPU and I should not run the stress test on it for any longer. Now let's see the temperatures while playing some famous games. Oh my god, while playing the GTA 5, temperatures are almost reaching 87 degrees. Let's see the temperatures on RDR 2 game. So here, also it's pretty bad, reaching at almost 83 degree. So as we have seen, the temperatures while playing the high-end games are reaching around 87 degrees, which is quite harmful for our CPU. 
So now let's remove the stock cooler and install the new budget friendly Deepcool Gamex 200 cooler into our PC and see the performance benchmarks. Guys, if you are enjoying the video, please consider to like and subscribe or please make comments if you wish to. So before installing the new cooler, we should always clean old dried up thermal paste on the CPU with the help of some paper or cloth. Installation is pretty easy. While installing, you must lock the cooler on one side first and then balance the cooler on the CPU and push down firmly from the other end to align and lock it completely. One thing to keep in mind is that you will need to exert enough pressure to lock the other side clip so you could feel a bit anxious but that's okay. Here I recommend you to remove the graphics card to ease the installation of this cooler. Let's see now the benchmark after installing the deep cool cooler. Now the ideal temperature is only around 43 degrees Celsius and while doing the CPU stress test, CPU temperature has reached only up to 63 degree which is pretty cool and in fact it is 27 degree lesser than what we saw with the stock cooler. Now let's see the temperatures while playing some famous games. Oh wow, while playing GTA 5 temperatures are only up to 70 degrees which is 17 degree lesser than stock cooler. Let's see the temperature on RDR2 game. Temperatures are only up to 65 degrees which is again 18 degree lesser than the stock cooler. So guys, don't you feel this CPU cooler is a must purchase if you wanna see a long life for your CPU and other components. Actual price at which it is available in offline market is 1000 Indian rupees. On online platform, it's bit overpriced. I will share the link in description if you wanna purchase it online. Guys, if you find the video informative, please consider doing like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in next video.